This video will show you how to set up the smart box. First, connect the power brick, ground cable, and USB cables to the smart box. Do not turn it on yet. The ground cable needs to be connected to earth ground for effective recording. Some socket ground connections may not be grounded correctly, so it is recommended that you verify a correct earth ground connection with an outlet tester or an electrician. Without a proper ground connection, noise may be introduced into recordings. Connect the USB cable to your PC. Turn your PC on, then power up the smart box. Connect the HDMI cable, smart link head stage, and probe to the smart box. The smart box can be used with any high impedance probe, including those from these companies. ECOG, EEG, EMG, and custom arrays can be used as well. If your probe connector does not match with the smart link head stage, adapters are available. Neuronexus offers a variety of smart link head stage options to match the type of experiment you are conducting as well as the probes you are using. To obtain good neural signals, please use correct reference and ground connections. For acute experiments, you should use acute smart link head stages, which have connectors that match Neuronexus acute probes. Other conventional probes can be used as well. Each acute smart link head stage has one reference wire and one ground wire, as well as a jumper. Connect the ground wire to the animal, for example via a bone screw. To measure voltage relative to local potential planes, implant the reference wire into tissue and remove the jumper from the head stage. To measure voltage relative to ground, leave the reference wire disengaged and connect the jumper. For chronic experiments, you should use chronic smart link head stages, which have connectors that match near nexus chronic probes. Other conventional probes can be used as well. Each chronic smart link head stage has two jumpers and uses ground and reference connections from the implanted probe. Connect the ground wire on the probe to the animal, for example, via a bone screw. The jumpers allow for different reference configurations with options to select either the probe reference site or the head stage reference connection, and to measure voltage with respect to your selected reference source or relative to ground. For auditory monitoring, connect speakers to the smart box. Alternatively, if you're using an oscilloscope to monitor signals, connect it to the DAC out connector on the smart box. Other accessories such as lasers or signal generators can be connected to the smart box. Input from signal generators can be configured to leave a timestamp on recordings. Start the smart box interface. You are now ready to record.